Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a collective haul from Rachel over at Rachel Tallman and also from Frank Garcia. And the order from Frank Garcia is a Black Friday um, purchase. Um, but Rachel had um, released some new sequin mixes a few weeks ago and I jumped on her website when she released them and placed an order. And she also had some of her other mixes on sale, so I placed an order for a couple of those as well. So if you don't already, um, you should go follow Rachel. She has a sequin mix subscription. She does sequin mixes just in her shop. She also has a Patreon, YouTube, Instagram. I will link her information down below. But here is her card. Okay, so I'll show you the older mixes first and then I'll show you the new releases. So I did pick up another one of these. I've gotten this one before in some in a past subscription um, package, but this one is a beautiful pink and blue mix called Sully. And she does tend to name her uh, mixes after Disney characters. Disney, she's a very big Disney lover. So um, this one is just absolutely beautiful. So that one was on sale. I went ahead and picked up another one. And then I also got another one of this one, which is pink and purple and gold. And it is, uh, I don't know if she had a name for this one. There's nothing on here, but it is really pretty with the pink and purple and gold. So I picked up another one. All right. And then the new releases are just absolutely stunning. So, um... The one that she released, I only got one of this one. Everything else I got two of because I loved these more, but I do really like this one still. Um, this one is called Let It Snow, and it is this beautiful pink mix. So, so pretty. So I got that one. I got two of this one, which is called Dasher and Dancer, and it is just so pretty. It's like pale purple and pink and like little like silvery... Um, it looks like a little silver. Maybe it's like a purpley silver like bits. It's so, so pretty. Again, it's called Dasher and Dancer. Super, super pretty. And then this one, I got two of this one. It is called Rudolph. And it's a red and white mix. Super, super cute for Christmas. I love all of her like glittered sequins. So pretty. And then my favorite one, which is no surprise to anyone because it's green, is the Deck of the Halls. It is so pretty. It's got tiny little Christmas trees in it. It's got beautiful green and white sequins. Oh, I love this one. I had to have it. It's just so, so pretty. So that is what I got from Rachel's shop. Again, I will link her down below. All right. I placed a rather large order on Frank Garcia's website on Friday, on Black Friday, because he had a discount code for, I think it was 20 or 25% off your order. So um, I went ahead and ordered the new Bia Valent. Uh, I don't know if that's being properly pronounced, but her new collection that just came out called Poppy and Tear. And um, I believe she is from Hungary. Um, she's a European crafter for sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't think she's Spanish. I'm pretty sure her crafting is based off of um, Hungarian designs because I thought when she was going over it on her Instagram, she had mentioned something about some of them were like um, some of the designs were like, um, based off of like art that she would see in her country. And I could have sworn like that it said like it was like Hungarian, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but she's definitely a European crafter and she's doing a collaboration with American crafts. So, um, they're not releasing much under the like quote unquote crate paper name anymore. So this is just an American crafts, um, um, release and it was um, again with Bia Bia Valent Bia Valent. I'm not sure if that's her correct spell pronounced pronunciation. So I apologize in advance if it is not. Um, but I did place a pretty large order because I wanted this collection once I saw her um, like showing it and also it's just it's stunning. It really is. It's got beautiful colors. It's really more of like a spring collection in my opinion because of the colors but I don't care it's so pretty uh, and it has kitty cats it's got orange kitty cats which is of course going to speak to me um because I had meows for 19 years and he was an orange kitty cat and then Marley who just passed away last week he was an orange kitty cat so orange kitty cats just speak to me <laughs> um but I am going to show you guys what I got I placed an order for um, her, pretty much the full collection, um, like some of the double-sided papers, a, an actual 
paper pad, which I hardly ever get a 12 by 12 paper pad anymore. Um, and then also all the uh, accompanying, you know, f f things that go with it. So we're going to go over the double sided papers first. Um, this one is, oh, look at it. It's so cute. Look at him, little cutie. This one is called, does it have a name? This is a cut apart sheet, obviously. But look at the colors. It is so beautiful. It reminds me of crepe paper. <laughs> like, it's just so pretty. I don't think there's a name to this one. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, it just says Cutie. Yeah, Cutie, I guess, is the name of it. So pretty. So, so pretty. I actually got two of those because it's a cut apart sheet. I usually do. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. And a lot of hers have, a lot of her pages have, like, what looks like stitching detail. This is called Stitched Delights. It is so pretty. And then we have the stripes on the other side. This reminds me of, um, like, crepe paper. Alright, I got this one, which is called Floral Fantasy. It is just so beautiful. And then we have this one, which would be good for, like, a scrapbook layout. Alright, I got two of this one, because I loved both sides. <laughs> um, this one is called Main Street, so it's got a little scene. A little, um you know, town or whatever. And then on the other side, you have this beautiful light purple with a little floral. It's so pretty. I'm going to say that a million times, so I apologize. Um, this one is called Blessed. So you get a black and white page. And then some a black and white, um, like almost like a herringbone type of design. This really pretty, like, bluey. It's almost like um maybe like a cornflower blue. This one is called Together, and it's got tiny little pink flowers. And then we have this one on the other side. If you hear anything, it's Joplin playing in a box over here on the floor. All right, I got two of this one to cut apart. This one is called Dream Big. And she did say she has a lot of, like, inspirational sayings and things. Because um, she's she does a lot of, like, planning and planners and stuff. So she said she likes to um, have a lot of, like, inspirational sayings and things. And then we have this beautiful purple on the other side as well. So, so, so pretty. All right, I got this one, which looks like little embroidery hoops. This one's called So, S-E-S-E-W, So Sweet. But again, a lot of her stuff has, like, this, like, what looks like stitching detail. And she said that was um, just something that was really, you know, part of her, like, heritage or what's common in her country. A little pretty pink on pink. We have two of this really pretty strawberry one. This is going to be a long video, you guys, so I apologize. This one's called Very Good. Look how cute this is. This also reminds me of, like crepe paper like a, an older um amy tangerine collection maybe super cute and then we have this really pretty it looks like a like a ribbon was wrapped around the paper and then tied with a little bow so cute we have this one with the bows it's called it's called tied together and then again all the little bows have not all of them but a lot of the bows have this like detailing on them so cute and then this yellow on yellow design like leaves okay and then we have the pear this one's called pretty pears and then this design here again a lot of these remind me a lot of crepe paper like their older collections and this one is called sunshine so pretty i love the trees they're like just all the different colors in this collection are so pretty and the fact that there's like lavender like you don't see a lot of light purples this little. This is also one of my favorites. This beautiful floral. It's called Wonderful. And then we have this one. We have this cut apart sheet called Details. I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast. And then this plaid. couple of this one this is like an ombre pink down to like a darker pink with it's got like a grid and then hearts and this one is called think pink we have this pink on white floral on a pink background it's not like a pink pink it's like a purpley pink very very pretty color 
um, yeah. two of this one. This one is called Technicolor. I love this stripe. So pretty. And then the little confetti. Like I said, you know, I picked up a lot of it, but I got the discount. Um, this beautiful floral called Elegance. I love that, like, aqua background. So pretty. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but everything is beautiful. I love this plaid, too. This aqua plaid with blue and, like, a very pale pink. All right. And I got a couple of this one because this is a cut-apart sheet. This one's called At a Glance. So these can totally be cut apart and made into embellishments. You can use them on a layout. Use them in planners, obviously. And then we have the green on green trees. I got two of this one called Remembrance. Again, you can cut these little frames out. This reminds me of Maggie Holmes. Um, what is it? Um, Chasing Dreams, was it? Was it Chasing Dreams that had the, like, the page that had all the little frames? So cute. All right, and then this really pretty yellow floral. And I like the fact that they released this now, so we have it once we're done with, like, Christmas and Valentine's. This one is called Magical. Beautiful plaid. Love that mustard yellow with the pink and the purple. And then this pink dot, I like, design. Super pretty. Again, that purpley pink is so beautiful. Um, this floral, this one is called Blissful Blooms. I love that it's on, like, green background. This flowers really pop. So beautiful. And we have this screen design. And then I got two of this beautiful blue floral. This looks like, um, it reminds me definitely of like stitch detail you'd see on like old, um, not tablecloths, but like just old linens and things. This is called Blue Skies. It's beautiful. I love that blue. And then we have this ledger page. And then the last double-sided, or the last 12 by 12 single sheet I got, um, or no, I'm sorry, this one, this one is called Color Burst, so there's this banners, and then this green stripe. I thought that was the last one. There's one more. This one is called Sweetheart, so this is perfect for Valentine's Day. See, again, there's, like, little stitching detail. Everything looks like everything's stitched. And then we have this peachy colored design. Okay, so that's the double-sided papers that I got. Obviously, I picked up a lot. Um, so I got all of those. And then I did pick up the 12 by 12 double or the 12 by 12 paper pad. So this is gonna be a little repetitive, I apologize. But um, these are, I believe, single sided. Um, that's usually how American Crafts does their um, 12 by 12 paper pads. I haven't bought a 12 by 12 paper pad for a collection in a really long time. Um, I just, I got in the habit of buying the double sided papers, which I appreciate more because you can use either side and they're a little bit thicker and I have tape stuck on my finger. Sorry. Um, they're a little bit thicker, so I feel like it's more sturdy. Um, with the single sided sheets, I typically like to layer them up, um, on cardstock, especially if I'm making like a tag flip or something. I'm going to turn it here. It's just easier because of my um, tripod, but we're just going to do a very quick flip through. Again, that one is my favorite with the orange kitty. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, these are single sided. We don't have this heart page over there in the double sided, so that's pretty. Here's that floral again, that green design, plaid, pink, that like pinky purple, that really beautiful blue, green ledger frames let me see here we have we have 48 sheets so really pretty floral there are so many beautiful florals in this but I like that if, the fact that a lot of them are small so they look like I don't know they just look so dainty and beautiful love 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 So pretty. That really reminds me of an older Amy Tangerine collection. So pretty. I mean, this is the closest that I would imagine that we were, we're going to get to crepe paper anymore. That, like, like old crepe paper. I think this is probably the closest we're going to get. Because it doesn't seem like they're coming out with anything new. 
The one that came out recently, I was not a fan of that mad midnight magic or magical mid. I don't know what it was called, but it was really weird. <laughs> I did not like it. Okay, maybe we don't get doubles. Okay, so we have lots of single-sided sheets. Okay. So. So, so pretty. This is going to be such a fun collection to play with after, like, Valentine's and winter projects. Uh, it'll just be such a nice, even though it'll still be winter where I live, it'll be no, so nice to play with something like this where it's, like, beautiful colors and, like, spring vibes and it'll get us in the mood for nice weather here. <laughs> so that is the 12 by 12 paper pad. All right, I also got the 6 by 8 paper pad. Like I said, I took advantage of that larger discount, um, and I picked up everything because he only offers that 25% off, I think, that just on Black Friday, like, once a year. So, I went ahead and just picked up everything, and, uh, you know, while I could, while it was in stock and um, with a larger discount. So, so beautiful. All right, so again, I'm just going to do a very quick flip through. Some of these have gold foiling. Oh, the frames in gold foil. That's really pretty. So even if you're not into like, you know, every page, most of this collection is just stunning. It reminds me so much of crepe paper and older Maggie Holmes collections. Like what we all just loved so much about those brands um, and I'm hoping that Maggie Holmes' new collection next year it just knocks it out of the park because we need something new from her. <laughs> Alright, I also placed an order for the foam stickers. Now you guys know I've ranted and raved about how much I miss chipboard and I wish that they would bring the chipboard back. But I couldn't not get these just because they're foam because they're just stunning. Like Again, look at the little orange kitty on the chair. That is so beautiful. The little gray kitty with the bow. I love it so much. I love the little houses, the little, just all of the elements in this collection are so pretty. The frames are beautiful. You get 52 foam stickers. And um, I don't know if you guys saw, but American Crafts recently was doing a survey. Like, you can just tell them what you want. And if you're wanting them to bring chipboard, chipboard back, go find that post and fill it out and just be like, hey, I want chipboard back. And hopefully, eventually, they'll bring it back to us. All right, I also ordered the Cutie, which is their, like, um, puffy phrase and accent sticker thickers. So, lots of smaller elements, which is nice. I hate when we get these types of stickers, and it's all, like, big titles and things. So, we got lots of little strawberries and hearts and flowers and words, and it's just so pretty. Okay, so we have that. Um, I also ordered the... Um, the shaker frames, it's like a, frames and embellishments. I'm not going to open this, but you get frames and then you get like a little sequin mix. So you can turn these into shakers. They already have the dimension on them. Um, I think you can just take the backing off and just put these on paper and like and it creates a, a sequin shaker automatically. So that is really nice. So I got a pack of those. Um, I also picked up the little embellishment pack, which has the wooden um, buttons, and then these are like wood. She showed them when she was showing her collection, but these two right here are wood, um, and you have, they're like wood veneers with like stickers, like foam sticker, like foam layered up stickers on top of them, so you get some dimension, and then you get the little paper bows, and then the little epoxy stickers. She said she wanted a lot of like different textures in her collection, so that's why there's wood, and paper and puffy stickers and all kinds of elements. Okay, so um, we have a couple of ephemera packs. Um, one has 70 pieces and one has 72. I'm not gonna open these just because I don't want this video to be super, super long because it's already coming up on 20 minutes. But we have all of these beautiful little tags and um, like little journaling spots and frames and all of those little things there. And then we have this pack, which I think has mostly the little icons, and you get 70 pieces in this one. So again, you get some kitty cats, 
Um, I know there's a little doggy and some leaves and florals and houses and things like that. So super, super cute. I got two packs of the puffy stickers because they are adorable. And again, there's an orange kitty cat. Love these so much. Look at the little hedgehog, the goose, the um, other little kitty with a purple bow. Oh, they're just so cute. They're like just super, super adorable. And I love the super tiny little hearts. So cute. And then I got the 200 piece papery pack like Maggie Holmes has been coming out with. I'm not going to go through this because it's 200 pieces, but there's obviously a lot of lightweight papers, washi stickers, you know, just tons of little things to um, amp up your uh, projects. So this is just such a beautiful collection. Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to play with it. It's so, so cute. So that is my very long um, <laughs> Frank Garcia haul and everything that I ordered from Rachel. Um, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate it. if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.